All right, my friends. Uh, we spent this morning snagging some bunker or pogies on the beach. I got about three so far. It's uh, probably about all I can carry with me. We're gonna troll around. I'll uh, bring them out to some structures, see if something it eats them out on the way, and uh, just kind of take it from there. Uh, let's see what ends up biting. I'm not sure. I haven't ocean fished in a little while. We're gonna pick it apart as we go. So here we go. All right, we'll grab a couple of these rigs. Some mackerel rig, rather. So we're gonna try. Really small. No, they're not that small. You're good. All right, snagging some bunker early right now. Bunkers. Okay. Good size bait though, that's for sure. I'm gonna grab like three total, I think. That's the move. Take, uh, take three with me. Put one hook in there. And the second one. Uh, second hook's gonna go right about there. And we're gonna start trolling. Yay, trolling. Trolling two miles an hour. Had it off the beach a little bit. Let's see what happens. It's been some king mackerel around, I know it. So we're really just trying our luck at that first, and then we'll go jig a couple reds and stuff. We'll see what happens though. See a couple birds dipping here. We're in 32 feet now. Got my live bunker. He didn't get the tap. Like, um. till now. Come on! That's a king! I'm gonna have to run him down a little bit. That run is a giveaway. Definitely a king! Damn, he took me into backing even. I don't know how big, but it took a serious run. Way too fast to be a shark. Hopefully I got a good hook in him. I don't have a gaff or any of that stuff. We're doing a we're doing a tail grab. Or a lip grip. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's a shark. I'm mean, real surprised. That's all I know. I don't know. I never had a shark do a take like that, so. Nice king, man. Probably 20, 25. Oh boy. Can we land this without a gaff is the problem.
Got to really make some room here. Hate that live bunker. Got one little hook in him, so kind of nervous. I'm not gonna lie. King mackerel rigs are really uh, light stuff. The minute they stop swimming, they're usually kind of beat up right off the bat. So maybe we can get lucky with them. That's a big fish, man. My God. Kong Dong, baby. What do we do here? Tail grab him? I guess so. Just try to do the two-hander, huh? Golly. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's a big fish, man. <laughs> Damn. That's my biggest king mackerel so far since living in North Carolina. You gotta use wire leader for these things because uh, yeah, they got teeth like that. They'll cut your line pretty easily. Um, I brought like ice for panfish and small black drum, of course. I didn't bring, <laughs> only thing I'm missing is like sheep's head stuff, right? So yeah. I think if I do it like this, it should be okay, right? Definitely edible and fine. Smoked. Golly, we gotta take a lot of clothes off. Uh. Gosh, this fish is so freaking greasy. All right, here you go. Small cooler bag, one king mackerel. See, they got soft mouths and you gotta use like tiny little hooks. It's always kind of a nerve wracking experience doing this, if you ask me. Okay, so you take your pogey or bonker, right? Does this guy die? They don't live that well sometimes, right? And you take your, your pogey, bonker, whatever you wanna call it. Hook, put one hook through the nose here. And I'm gonna put the second one right through the back here. The fish only have one hook in them, so it's not surprising. And we just kind of chuck them out and troll them around. Uh, there was some fish busting when I, I mean, it was like not some, it was like a buster there, here and there, but not much. And this old die with salt is still performing, man. I love it. And we caught that fish on this chicken world. Uh, this is the slow pitch, medium heavy Nexus rod. That first run is impressive on these fish though. So uh, don't, don't discount that. So if you're curious about this particular fish, King Mackerel, uh, I think they range all the way to, uh, I think most years up to Maryland. Uh, South Jersey gets them some years. Uh, here in North Carolina, the beach run is typically May. The best part of the beach run is like May, early June. And then again, October. It's kind of like the best part to the, the, their run. This is like bringing the knife to the gunfight, I would say. Uh, it's a tougher fish on this sort of platform. Uh, pretty much an easier fish on a boat. Um, I guess how it depends how personal or engaging you want to you make it. I don't like the way they taste. Um, we'll see what I'm going to end up doing with them. Um, I like Spanish mackerel in terms of if I had to pick one. And uh, Spanish are readily available. But at the same time, this is pretty much a... It's a pretty rare fish to get on a kayak. I mean, it's not rare, rare, but you know, you're gonna get a few a year usually. Uh, maybe a couple more if you do a couple of things right. This time of year, it's really black drum, sheep's head, redfish, and the mackerels, right? We didn't see any false out before today. Uh, some, some days, sure, we'll see them, some days we won't. So uh, yeah, it's kind of like the, the move, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's see what's up on the beach real quick and then 
uh, beach a kayak and see what happens on the next trip whenever that is. Should be soon. We got a lot of wind blowing off the land, cold weather, etc. Landing shouldn't be too hard as long as we don't mistime it. Give it everything. Should put the rods away, but we'll see. Just a couple sets here and there.